welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel i want to say thank you and you are welcome if you're watching me and if you're not subscribed to this channel please hit that red subscribe button it's free of charge and also the notification bell icon on the side so that whenever i upload a video you'll be one of the first ones to get a notification so go ahead and smash those two buttons up okay so today um i am going to be making authentic ghana corn dough so um i have my corn it's soaked from from wednesday to monday um so it's like six days i will not let it go beyond three to four days do not let it go more than three to four days okay i got busy this week so that's what um that's what happened and so i have this machine here that i got from amazon um, that I was trying out it doesn't blend it smooth so um, this is the corn and this is the machine I got and so I'm going to have to use two things here I'm going to be using my Vitamix and this first I'm going to be using this machine to break it down if it works well it might end up working for my fufu someday who knows so let's just get started um, so I'm just gonna fill it up okay this is two cups of corn by the way this is two cups of corn so So with this machine, there was a miscommunication between the person ordering and me that I was placing the order, which is me, between me and Steve. I keep telling Steve I want something that will grind it into a fine texture, and I guess he misunderstood me. It's and so hard to do fine grind and also be wet. And so this is what he got. So I'm going to try and work with this, okay? I'm going to try and work with uh, this Nika Nika that he got, he got for me. So this is it. This is Mom Power. So as you guys can see, it's sort of like breaking the corn, you know, um, it's not grinding it like the corn does, um, like, you know, the fine powder texture. And so I'm going to have to use the Vitamix to achieve that. Okay. I do not want to overwork my Vitamix. That's why I'm using this process, but you don't have to, you can go straight ahead and um, use your Vitamix from start to finish. So... Come so this is the results I got with the Vitamix, okay? So it's good to break it down so that I'm not overworking the Vitamix. Hold still so I can and, see it. And so you see you can Hold like, still. oh sorry, you can like form it into like a ball. It's not as smooth as I want it. Um, you know, this is about, I'll probably say 85% there. So I need my 15%. So what I'm going to do, what I would do is, I will still go ahead and ferment it, okay? On the day that I want to use it to make bangku, I'll make a video of it. When I, um, you know, you scoop it, you add your cassava dough, I will go ahead and blend it again at that time because I can use the wet blade and it will be smoother, okay? So this is still as good as, I mean, this feels like some of the, uh, one of the bangku mix I got from the African store. But the reason I'm making this is because I want it finer. And so that's why I'm making it. So this is, this is really good. This is really, really good okay so let's move on i'm going to finish this and i'll be back okay so what um steven is doing is he's still grinding through <laughs> through that grinder and this is the second time we did grind it the first time and um, it was sort of like breaking the corn uh into half i, I didn't I had to adjust the blade yeah so after he adjusted the blade um it looks to be working better now and so it will make it easier to um, blend it again in the Vitamix. So that is, um, let me show you guys. If I bring it closer. So this is the. So with this machine here, with this grinder here, this is the texture. Yeah, this is the texture I got, okay? This is the texture, okay? And with the Vitamix, um, it gave me. 85% of what I'm looking for. You know, some of you will say this is good enough. You can make banku with it or kinky with it. But like on the day that I'm going to use to cook, I will blend it again with some liquid and that will help it come out smoother like I stated before. So now it's going to go into my Vitamix. 
would I recommend this machine? No. They actually have a grinder that you can buy on Amazon or online that some of them is very, very expensive and it will come out like um, a finer texture, okay? It will come out like flour. And those usually run like maybe 500 to a thousand dollars, you know, or can be even more for like home used ones. But if you also have like a $500 Vitamix, you can use the Vitamix. Um, it helps if you have like a dry and a wet blade. If you have like more than one blade, it really helps. So you don't have to um, get this if you, um, if you have a Vitamix, okay? But I will... I don't want my Vitamix to overheat, so I guess this was okay. This set a peppers, but not to the point where to what I really wanted. So let's just move on. <laughs> so I'm gonna grind this and I'll finish this up and then I'll ferment it. Oh, I said I'll ferment it, I'll mix it. Moving on. So now that we are done with the grinding slash blending part, we are moving on to the next level, okay? And this will seal the deal. <laughs> so Put your um, grinded, blended corn into a bowl, okay, a nice big bowl, and then make a hole in the center, okay. In the center, you want to make a hole, and then get like get two cups of water. So this is um, four cups of corn meal now. So I'm having two cups of water here. Do not all add all at once, okay. You might not need all of it. So just mix your hands like I did maybe too much water but it's okay so this is about I did one cup. yeah a little over a cup of water Cup and a half. Yeah, a cup and a half. I have one third cup left. So I would just do one cup of water, okay? If if you're making it, just do one cup of water. But if you end up using more, that is also fine. So mix it really well. As you can see, it's not as it is, like I said, 85% percent <laughs> there. So um, we'll work on it. So this is it. This is it. Once you add your water, just, you know, push down on it, okay? You kind of want to, um, how do I call it? <laughs> Spread it out, okay? And make sure that you seal every corner on there so you don't leave any gaps at the corners for air to enter. So, edge. Yeah, so the edges, yeah. <laughs> So make sure the edges is all like, um, you know, covered, okay? Or how do I say, Stephen, help me out. <laughs> it's uh, flush to the edges. Yeah. So yeah, make sure that the dough is spread um, and the edges, um, you have the dough, the edges all like, you know, covered, taken care of so that there's no air, okay? You just don't want to leave any gaps, okay? So this is it. I'm just going to sit this, um, I'll probably take it back to um, to the back kitchen and sit it on the counter and let it ferment. You don't have to put a saran wrap or like a cover. You want the... What about bugs? What? What about bugs? Well, put it where there's no bugs, okay? Put it, you can spread something like if you have um, a, a netted cloth, you know, something with like nets in it. So because you, the, the whole thing is you don't want heat. You know, you don't want heat trapped in here. Then it can, because you know, this is has liquid in it, it can go bad. And you don't want that, okay? It will, once it starts to ferment and the water, some of the water starts to evaporate, it will dry out a little bit. So this is it. Just set it somewhere on your counter where there are no bugs uh, for three to four days. Sometimes people leave it for a week, but I will do three to four days. And then you have your homemade corn dough. So let me know what you guys think. We will make banku with this. Shoot. Yes, we will make some banku with All this. All right, I am back. I'm moving on. So it's day four for our corn dough, and I believe it is ready, okay? So what I'm going to do, I, let, first let me show you the texture, okay? 
this is this is the texture this is okay the liquid is still you know it's it's still soft enough for me okay you like um like i said in the beginning video use you can use less water okay when you mix in it but that's just by the way okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to portion this out to the sizes that i want so that whenever i make banku or banku or porridge i don't think i'm going to this is not enough to make kinky for me so whenever i make banku sorry guys nothing is fine so whenever i make banku or porridge um I will just have it and go. You know, you don't want to put the whole thing in a bag and throw it in the freezer and throw it and then you take what you need and then put it back. Just don't do that. Divide it, portion it out and put it in separate bags and it will be good to freeze, okay? And whenever you want to make bangkung or porridge, just take whichever one you need out, let it completely pour and you are good to go. So let me know what you guys think. Um, would you make your own condo? Would you rather go to the store and buy this and not buy it and not deal with the hassle let me know what you think in the comment section like share subscribe all those fun stuff until i come your way again with another video remaining god okay by your and oh yeah i'm going to make banku okay i will break that video up to you next bye guys